Well, the Texas power grid continues to use renewable energy sources like wind and solar, but there is another source that is currently underused, Me waves. Yeah, that's right. Meteorologist Daji Aswad is here with new technology that will be floating along the U.S. shoreline. Daji. Yeah, we've seen solar panels, as you mentioned. We've even seen wind turbines. But have you ever heard of waves powering homes and bringing electricity? Now, that duo, electricity and water, don't sound safe, but I promise they're bringing efficient sources of electricity to communities across the world. An under tap renewable energy source is washing up to shore. Waves. NOAA calculated there is more than 95,000 miles of shoreline in the U.S. and its territories. And there's a renewable energy tech company hoping to produce electricity along some of those coasts. If we're looking only at the United States, in the United States alone, according to the Energy Information Administration, it can provide 66% of all the United States energy needs. Ina Braverman launched this technology over 10 years ago. Now it is powering homes in Israel, and this year, the blue floaters will produce electricity in the port of Los Angeles. Do you think this will ever touch the Texas coastline? I think that uh, definitely it should touch the Texas coastline. We did a feasibility study together with Shell that was funded by Shell for uh, kind of the best sites in the U.S. coastline. And uh, from that study, we came up with like about seven sites in Texas where there's already breakwaters and where we can build power stations. Uh, some, some are of 10 megawatt, which is like 10,000 households. Texas has had some issues with their power grid in terms of w when we see peak heat or when we see extreme cold. How would this technology um, help in those situations when the power grid is under stress? The problem with renewable energy sources like solar, for example, and wind are the fact that they're very much intermittent. Like we're dependent on mother nature. Wave energy is considered the least intermittent source of renewable energy. And EcoWave says the moon phases as well as weather systems do impact the wave height, which can be beneficial for them, but major storms like hurricanes can limit and even halt their production. As for how green our power grid here is today, including wind, solar, and nuclear, it is sitting around 52% as of 3 p.m. of the total power demand. And of course, these numbers do change based on weather conditions. All right, Daji, thank you. So how green is the Texas power grid? An expert with the University of Houston Department of Energy broke it all down on our website. Just search green on click2houston.com.